and we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lag, and this is Stranded Deep. I've got a gas can. We're going to fill up the uh, motor. We're going on an adventure right off the bat. There we go. Got some gas in there. Oh, look, if you leave the meat on the smoker long enough, it actually does smoke. So we were I was having this question on the last episode, and I wasn't sure how to make the meat smoke, but there it is, it's smoking. This is a boar, a big boar that I killed. Look how big of a piece of meat this is. It's crazy. Yeah, so I'm guessing that'll never spoil, or maybe it will, I don't know. Hey, we got some more names for the boat. Thanks to you guys down in the comments section. We got the SS Wilson, Bodie McBoatface, the Bird Turgler, the SS Rift Raft, and SS Hughes Socks. I don't know why, somebody hates Hughes and told me to name the raft that. So there we go. I think the storm is clearing up, which is great because we're shoved off for our mission. What are we doing today? Oh, we're just gonna build a helicopter, that's all. No big deal. Well, technically it's a gyrocopter. It's a little like one-seater, but we'll be able to fly around. And we can still boat around too. I think flying around might be easier to spot where the bosses are. Now this game does have a map, but you cannot access it while you're playing the game. You can only look at the map on the main menu. And everybody who plays this game is going to have a different world than what you're seeing here in this video. So it's going to be different. So if you're looking for the bosses by watching this video, that's not how you do it. You got to look at the map on the main menu. You can take a screenshot of it, but it's still it's still kind of really hard to read and figure out. But if I did this right, this island right here, there should be one island behind it, which I already see popping up way off in the distance. And then behind that island, we are going to find, I hope, fingers crossed, a giant aircraft carrier. All right, passing the first island now. So that means behind this island coming up, we should see a giant aircraft carrier. On that aircraft carrier is gonna be a plane that we'll need to repair if we're gonna get out of this Pacific hellhole that we find ourselves in. Oh, you know what? You can already see from way over here, the aircraft carrier starting to render in. It must be massive. But in order to even repair the plane, you have to beat the bosses in this game. So we beat a boss on the last episode. Check it out if you haven't already. The video's on the screen right now. You can just click on it and come back to this. But when we beat the boss, that giant eel, it did drop an airplane part of some kind. So I can't find it anywhere. It's not like it's in my inventory, but we're gonna test it out. We're gonna walk up to this plane that's on this aircraft carrier and see if we can put a part on it. And I guess we'll just fix it little by little. Still got two more bosses to beat too. But also on this aircraft carrier, we should find some parts for a gyrocopter. And then we're gonna make the helicopter and try not to crash it. Check it out, we're here. I'm gonna just dock somewhere on the beach here. Cut the engine, drop the anchor. See what we've got on this island. Hopefully there's some stuff on this island that we can loot with us, but I'm not seeing much of anything. Oh, there is a giant crab trying to kill me though, but we know how to deal with him. We know, we'll just stab him till he's dead. Get out of here, get out of here. Stop stabbing me, got you. I found some driftwood here. I've never seen this before. Guessing, yeah, it turns into sticks one at a time, so interesting. Have not seen those anywhere. Some corrugated steel, though. I'll take it. Yeah, so it seems like stuff you've already found will be on this island as well, but I'll keep taking this corrugated scrap, though, for sure. I'm wondering if there's any shipwrecks off the coast here. So we can get in the ship right here through this ramp. We'll do that in a second. I just want to check the other side of the island. Another stupid crab. Unsuspecting. Can't do anything when I get behind you, can you? Tough guy. Dead. I'll tell you what, I found like four of these corrugated scraps, so that's pretty good. Let's go inside of the uh, giant ship now. Up we go. All right, do a little jump there. We got a door here. And then it's my understanding that you can't open up anything. You just got to go up the stairs until you reach the final door. So we're not going to waste any time trying to check floor. Uh, each floor that we go on, we're just going to go straight to the top. Oh, I think we're here. Yeah, this looks different. Okay, so I think we can open this door. Here we go. Oh, a cutscene. Scene's over. That was quick, but nice. There's the plane. Found it first try. So it looks like a list just popped up on the screen. This could be my way to escape Pacifica. Repair the plane engine. Repair the plane propeller. Repair the plane cockpit. Stock with food. Stock with some water. And stock with fuel. Okay, so we got like a lot of stuff to do here. How much water do you want? I didn't bring any water, so I can't even test that out. Did I bring any food? I do have some food. Would you like? Okay, so that's going to take a lot of food. I'm going to actually test a couple things out with the food before we leave here. And then we've got uh, the fuel here, uh, which I didn't bring any. Good. Good for me. Rudder pedal. And then here is the engine. 
and the propeller. So in the crafting menu, if you go to story and then toggle onto the airplane, the aircraft engine part we did get. So if I click on this, we should get the part. Yeah, there we go. So we can actually put this on the plane now. I get it. I get it. Here we go. Let's put you in there. Right, just like that, we got the engine fixed. So we got to fix a few more things and stock up, and then we're out of here. Hey, look, it's the SS Tinker Bell Hughes Sucks Shambles Diarrhea. My favorite boat in the whole world, right there. Ah, here they are. This is exactly what I was looking for. Gyrocopter part. One, two, three, which is exactly how many parts you need to build the gyrocopter. So we can go back home and build the gyrocopter, but I want to test something out with the food first. So we killed this giant crab over here. Let me just skin it. And I'm going to take the meat upstairs raw. He doesn't say it has to be Gross. cooked meat or anything. So let's see if it'll stockpile like raw food as well. Just in case it actually works, we might as well get this other crab too. Poll time. There should be a poll on the screen right now. So if you've made it this far in the video, hopefully you'll participate in the poll. The way I see it is we're going to be beating this game pretty soon, right? So we need to move on to the next open world crafting survival game. And I'm going to put a couple of options up there and you guys go ahead and vote for whatever you want to see the most. And I'm not going to say which one I want to play. We're going to play them all, but uh, you guys can decide on the next one that we'll play. So please take a second and do the poll. Thanks. All right, I got a couple of raw crab meats here. Yeah, it'll let you stock raw. And it looks like the size of the food doesn't even matter because I think we got the same amount of progress from that giant boar piece of meat that I put in that we just got from the two smaller crab pieces. So I think we could probably just bring a whole buttload of raw sardines with us and fill that up real easy. I'm thinking coconuts, coconut flask might be the easiest way to do this. Or I can make, oh, I've been wanting to make a new uh, like canteen or something. And then fuel is probably gonna take a couple of full fuel cans. Well, let's go home and we're gonna go make that gyrocopter and fly around and probably die. If I had to guess, this is the correct direction, but I'm totally not guessing. See, I wasn't guessing. It's totally not 32 minutes later at all. Found it, first try. Home sweet home. Perfect landing. I made a couple more farming plots so we can get even more potatoes growing. So I've got four potato plants growing now, which is great. And now with all that corrugated scrap I just found, I can make a couple of more and make even more potato plants. We'll have all the fuel that we'll ever need. Also, I killed a lionfish. Now he lives here too. So we got Wally, Wallace, and Wallathin, the lionfish, Wall Wallathin. That is a real name. All right, I got my hammer. We're about to build the helicopter, the gyrocopter. This is gonna be so awesome. Look at all my parts. I've got so many parts. All right, so the gyrocopter base requires you to be level six on your building, which I am, and it requires one gyrocopter part. So let me go ahead and boom, we'll make that. And let's go find a place to build this where we're gonna launch it Safely. I don't want to be surrounded by a bunch of stuff and we fly off at an angle and crash it the second we build it. Yeah, nice and flat right here. All right, there's the gyrocopter base. Next up is the gyrocopter seat, which also requires just one gyrocopter part, which we found. So let's get that. I guess we're going to put it on there. There we go. Oh, it's coming together. This is when the recipe gets starts to get a little bit more needy. This is when you need those other parts you've been finding the whole time you've been playing. So we're going to need an engine. Got one. A filter. Got that and a fuel part, got it. We'll take it back over here to the gyrocopter and put it on. So this will be our engine. All right, where do you go? Right there, there you go. Oh, we're just missing the blades probably. We're missing the cockpit. We need an electrical part for the cockpit and then we're missing the propellers. So two more parts to put on. Got some electrical parts right here. All right, cockpit, throw it on. Some wiring and stuff. I wonder what my guy did before he got stranded in the middle of the ocean because he's putting together a helicopter on his own right now, which is probably not an easy thing to do at all. Now for the propellers, we're gonna need that last gyrocopter part we had, plus an electrical part. I've got it, so let's put it on. And we now have ourselves a gyrocopter. Who wants to name the gyrocopter? Only one name for the gyrocopter, okay? So the best one down in the comment section wins. It shall be yours. I know what you're thinking. Why not just fly this gyrocopter out of here back to civilization? Because it doesn't have the gasoline capacity nor the structural integrity to make a trip across the Pacific Ocean. Come on. But speaking of gasoline, I've got some in my hand. We need to put some in here, so. Okay, not a lot. I have another can right here, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. So for our maiden voyage, we got like three quarters of a tank of gas and the sun's about to come up. So we're about to do this thing. Now, I just be warned, I did not look into any videos on how to fly this thing. I'm on PC, so I don't know what keys do what. We will probably die in a fiery crash. 
Also, while I was waiting for the sun to come up, I went ahead and did one more uh, farming plot here. So as soon as these things bud some more potatoes, I'll take one and put it in that one. Take the other three and put them in the cooker. And then from there on out, we'll have five coming out at once and all five will go in the cooker. We'll get so much fuel. It's going to be great. But now, the moment I've been waiting for, let's go for a test flight. Okay, hold E to start engine. Will do. Should I sit in it first? Okay. All right. Great. I'm in it. All right. Okay. How do you go up and down? All right, I, fig I figured out how to go down. That's control. I don't know how to go up. I got it. I got it figured out. All right. Now we're flying. I've got it all figured out. Space bar goes up. Control goes down. You can tilt it forward like this. You can tilt it back like that. And then you can go left and right like this. Easy. Easy. Woo! Look at us go. The SS helicopter is on its way for the maiden voyage. Oh, the actual fuel gauge works. There's a compass on here, too. So we can see how much gas we have and which direction we're going. There's a small island ahead of me. And a lot of times when I'm not recording this, I'm going island to island to get sticks and other supplies that you don't really want to see on a video after you've already seen it a couple times. But I found something on this island coming up that I want to check out. So let's go to this island and check it out. Hey, look, that's where we fought that giant, uh, what was it, a snake? It was an eel. The great Abababa. Right there, killed it, first try. Zero deaths. Wonder how high this thing goes. Get a nice view. Definitely see some more islands. From way up here. Oh, God. Oh, we're stalling. Get down. Go down. It's your stall. Okay, well, if you go too high, you'll start to stall. Oh, that could have been terrible. Also, we're already at half a tank, so we've gone through a quarter tank already. And we haven't even made it to our first island. So this thing is not very fuel efficient. So I would bring a couple, of, uh, like a can of gas with you if you use this thing. I don't even know if it has storage on it. We should check that out, but I doubt it. All right, let's go for a safe landing right here. This looks like a nice spot. Get right over it, and then we'll just go straight down. How hard can this be? Not, not hard at all. Watch me go, watch me go. Did it, totally. Yeah, yeah, maiden voyage done, didn't kill myself, that's what's up. Anyways, I said there was something kind of cool on this island, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Although I probably need the boat to bring it back home, I didn't think that through. But I found another little hut here, not the same one as Tom Hanks was in. This one comes with an ax, oh, a refined ax, hold on. Say goodbye to our crude ax, you're out of here. You're fired, let's get this, there we go, better ax. And over here, it's got a fish trap. I can't pick it up though. I can set it in the water. Here, let's just put it in the water, see how it works. Come with me, fish trap. I guess this works like the uh, seagull trap where it's not gonna need any bait. It's just gonna work on its own, I guess. There we go. Come back with my boat and get that and bring it back to our, um, bring it back to our island at some point. Maybe when I come back with a boat, it'll actually have some fish in it. That's pretty cool though, a fish trap. Or I can make my own, but I found it over here for free. So why make one when you can just take one? All right, so our island is way over there somewhere. And I know that if we come to this island and then look at that island, right out in front of that island should be the next boss. Let's go see if we can find the boss in the air. Up, up, and away. Here we go. This is so cool. This is so cool. I just wish I had more gas. I'm afraid we're gonna run out of gas before I get back home. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, so this island coming up on our right-hand side should have an island on the other side of it. The boss is in between those two islands. All right, that's the island, and then that's the other island. So somewhere right out here should be the boss, the next boss. Keep those eyes peeled. I'm actually gonna have to give up the search and head home. I've got a quarter tank of gas. I don't know if we're gonna make it back home. <laughs> Uh-oh. Actually, there's, there's home right there. We are gonna make it, probably, maybe, just maybe. Right now, we have more pressing issues. As you see, the gas is dangerously low, but there's my island, so even if we do crash, I will grab and drag this gyrocopter all the way back to the shore. Down we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Little bit, little bit. Little bit more. With tons of gas to spare. We about ran out of gas, but perfect. Man, I got that thing flying like a champ. Next question, if my potatoes grown. They have, here we go, potatoes, 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 potatoes. Plant this one. There we go. Now we have five potato plants, and I got four that I could put in the burner right now. One, two, three. I have three because I can't count. Now all we've got to do is just set it 
And forget it. There's a whale. Oh my God, it's beautiful. There's a whale. Look at that. It's so majestic. Can't kill it. All right, even if we could kill it, I wouldn't kill it. Do your thing, whale. Do your thing. All right, change of plans. Instead of going and finding the next boss location and wasting gas, let's stay right here at home and do something fun. And let's collect a new pet, shall we? I mean, now that I've killed the giant eel, a regular shark should be no problem. So let's just kind of go out here and see if one will come bother us. And let's take them on and see if we can get a shark pet for our house. Oh, yep, yeah, one's here. Ow, hammerhead, not cool. Yeah, you don't like that, do you, when I fight back? Oh, God. Ow. Stop it. Come on, hit him. You're not going to kill me. I'm going to kill you. I'm missing with a lot of my spears. Ooh, go down, go down. Got you. Come on, die already. You're not a boss. You're just... Yeah, I did it. I... I think he's got a friend. Hold on. <sighs> Maybe he doesn't have a friend. All right, cool. We got a hammerhead. So we've got Wally and Wallace and Walliford. Walliford? Wallathan. Wallathan. That was his name. What are we going to name this guy? I shall name him Wall. W-A-L-L. -L. You see we have a theme going on here? This guy's heavy. Heavy. <laughs> this is what you get for always biting me. Always just minding my own business. Searching shipwrecks. Collecting clay. And you come along and you bite me in the face. Now you're a land animal. You did it to yourself. Wall is being a little difficult to get set up, but we're going to get him. That's pretty good. That's good right there, Wall. Just turn this way a little bit. Just a little. Yeah, there you go. All right, sorry. I knocked all the other fish over trying to get him. Now I got to organize my fish again. Yeah, look at the boys on the beach. Our pet collection is growing. Now we can always chop that up, and the meat's never going to go bad so long as we don't chop it up, right? So if we ever get in a situation where we're super, super hungry, we can chop up all these guys and eat them. Except for maybe the lionfish. We might get poisoned. I don't know. Seagull break. I will tell you, old wall here almost killed us. You got me down to two and a half squares, buddy. Nice try, though. Not today. What a time to be alive. We've got ourselves a gyrocopter. We killed one of the bosses. We're on our way to the end of this game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to leave a little, little, blah, 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 blah. Did you get that? Make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy, Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time.